aspiration to a person's race, color, sex, religious creed, sexual orientation, age, national origin, ancestry, handicap, or disability. I do further swear that I will uphold, obey, and enforce the law without consideration to a person's race, color, sex, religious creed, sexual orientation, age, national origin, ancestry, handicap, I disability. certainly appreciate the confidence and trust that they've placed in me by selecting me for this position. And uh, we're going to work hard uh, as public servants to, to do good things for the community. I want to recognize uh, some of my colleagues in the uh, law enforcement community that are here. And we'll go down the list. Joe Blackburn, who currently ha heads up the uh, Pennsylvania Law Enforcement Accreditation Commission as the director, former deputy commissioner of Pennsylvania State Police and uh, former police chief in several jurisdictions. Next to him, a Amy Rosenberg, who is uh, the executive director of the PA Chiefs of Police Association, a, a really good resource for us here. Uh, Bill Connolly, until recently the first deputy attorney general of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, uh, one of my bosses and my colleagues uh, when I was in the office of attorney general, former federal prosecutor, local state and federal prosecutor. Uh, thank you, Bill, for coming. Chief Rich Brandt, of course, from uh, the neighboring jurisdiction. We uh, work with him closely, rely on him for a lot of things. He's come down, we've had a little chat. Uh, I'm going to use him as a sounding board, and hopefully he will, his counsel will serve me well in terms of <coughs> what we need to do here and how we need to do it. Chief Jason Umberger, representing the Dauphin County Police Chiefs Association. I got to know Chief Umberger about a year ago. Uh, a uh, very professional law enforcement officer, again, a great resource for us here. The Dauphin County Police Chiefs, I appreciate their support. Uh, Captain Junkin, Troop Commander, Pennsylvania State Police, Troop H. Uh, he's responsible for the uh, territory we're in here with regards to the Pennsylvania State Police. Our officers interact a lot with his uh, troopers and with his investigators, and we rely, rely on the State Police for a lot of uh, resources and support. Another old colleague of mine, uh, the, pleasure of working with at the uh, Office of Attorney General. He worked for me, I worked for him. Uh, we, we've known each other for quite a long time. Colonel Frank Noonan, Commissioner of the Pennsylvania State Police. Uh, Colonel Noonan's a former FBI agent, former Chief of Investigations at the Office of Attorney General. Of course, was selected by Governor Corbett to uh, head up. I think as people know, there's been some controversy here in town. Uh, we're, we're ready to move past that. My job is to provide the leadership to get us beyond those kind of things, to, to get the officers who are good police officers uh, in, in a position that they can concentrate on their duties as police officers. They don't have to worry about extraneous things that are going on around. I'm still young enough that I, I enjoy law enforcement and I want to be in the field. And I think that the skills that I've learned in the 32 years that I've been in law enforcement, particularly uh, with the Office of Attorney General in terms of managing and administering uh, programs, law enforcement programs, I think they'll serve more well here. I think I have something to offer to the community. I think it'll have a positive impact. And, and I'm hoping that uh, I can provide you know, something positive to the um, What are your impressions of Middletown and the police here so far, both the town and the police? Uh, the town is a it's a great town. Uh, obviously the oldest community here in Dauphin County. A lot of history. Um, the citizens that I've encountered uh, certainly care about their community. I think the police officers are capable. Uh, they, they, my impression of them is they have good police skills. I don't think that the, uh, their, their good efforts have been sold uh, so well that I don't think they, the citizens realize sometimes, uh, and, and that's another thing that we've seen, we try to raise our profile and, and try to let the community know the good things the police department does. Um, and you know, I think we have a good base and a good foundation, we're just going to build on that. How do you think you're being the chief is going to make the better? I think, first of all, just an outsider's perspective, a uh, fresh set of eyes on some things sometimes helps. Um, and I think that the skills that, that, I, that I bring uh, are something that will be helpful to the community.